It's your boy Conflict, Roundtable Entertainment, Richmond VA all day. The great hip hop debate, diverseworldorder.com. Check that out, man. What's up? It's Christina, better known as Tina Show. Biz, you're watching the Great Hip Hop Debate on DiverseWorldOrder.com, and I'm sitting here with my man Conflict. What's up? Yep, nothing much, man. Just maintaining, you know, representing VA all day, Richmond, Virginia. Okay, first thing I want you. To, well, first of all, I'm from Richmond too, 804, so I'm representing too. For sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, first thing I want to know is Conflict. What? Where's the name come from? Where did that come from? Is there a story behind there? Yeah, definitely. You know, conflict really just, you know, I, when I came up with the title, you know, my name or whatever, instead of going with the obvious or saying I do this or I'm like that, I'm this and that, I wanted to try to find a name that really represents me. And, you know, people that know me understand I've been through a lot of trials and tribulations. It's always been a lot of conflict, conflict in my way. So I use that in turn to, to motivate me. So, you know, conflict. Also, I consider myself a problem for some of these other rappers in the game so he's a problem <laughs> all right so how long have you been doing this a long time um, i mean i've been involved with music one way or another since i was like eight years old so you know officially rapping i tried to rap the first time maybe like 10 11 and then you know i'm here today do you remember your first rap uh, i do but um you know i'm not gonna put myself out there like that <laughs> nah <laughs> No, share. See, this is when you when you make it big, people want to know all about the history. They want to know every single little part, every piece of you. Come on, what was the first one? Right, the first two bars I actually remember was <laughs> my mom used to tell me only way to get cake is to really save it up so you could take it to the bank. Okay, <laughs> and that's true. Good advice. Let's say you had like 20, 30 seconds to tell people what you're about. Not just about your name, but what you're about, what they're going to get when they're listening to Conflict. What would you tell them? And I'm timing you. Well, what I would say is, I mean, you're, you're going to get real music. You know, I don't, I don't knock anybody for what they do, but, you know, I really pride myself on making music that everybody can relate to. You know, it, you know I have fun, so you'll get a party record. I, you know, I have real situations, so you'll hear that. I've had relationships that went south. So I feel like, you know, my music is, is real hip hop, back to the old school where, you know, they're actually telling stories. It's not just saying, you know, how many females they've been with or how much money they make. Thank you. I just try to relate to the people and, you know, the people is who are going, who are going to make you somebody. So I want to give back to them. Okay. What old school artists would you compare yourself to? That's tough. Um, you know, I was influenced by a lot of artists. You know, old school, old school. I mean, a lot of people may not remember, but, you know, definitely... KRS One, you know, Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap. Um, okay, you throwing out some big names. Can you back that up? Rock Cam. I mean, I think I'm mixed. It's all into one. You know, I take a piece. You know, hip hop is, is is all like a learning, you know, learning curve. You know, you as a kid, you know, I watch the things they do, and I kind of put that into my own style. So, you know, it's all rolled into one. So you just mentioned um, old school and, and the stories and how it's different from today. You're not just talking about making it rain or throwing out tsunamis or whatever. So what do you think about, and we hear a lot of that today, the rain, a lot of the yeah. South, a lot of the, you know, stripper pole music, which, you know, I guess can be fun at times, but, you know, you don't want to hear that all the time. You need some balance. So right. what do you think about the state of hip hop today? You think, are, are we going up? Are we going down? Are we, what, what's up? Well, in my opinion, you know, like I said, I don't really want to knock what someone else does. You know, if, if that's their craft, that's what they do. But I think, you know, what's happening is you do have some artists that talk about, you know, the strip club and all that. But that is genuine. That's really what they know. But then you have, you know, a lot of other artists that are just trying to ride the wave. You know, so I don't think it's because it's a lack of creativity. It kind of, you know, downs hip hop a little bit because, you know, People are not buying their records as often. You know, you, you got ringtones now that people are becoming millionaires off a of ringtone. Mm -hmm. They're not even buying the record. So I think it's not just because of the music. It's more so because, you know, the whole MP3 genres can't, is coming to the game. So it's like, you know, the record sales are just not there. But see, is the MP3 and, and are the ringtones, are the, is that, 
you could say that's elevation or that's innovation and that they're moving forward. I mean, technology is everywhere. So is that a bad thing or? I won't say it's a bad thing because, you know, as, you know, we progress each each year, you know, we're going to have to eventually go to what the technology is of the day. But I think where it lacks is because some people make just that song, just that single. No one really takes pride in making albums, you know, a collective body of work. So, for, for instance, you go on iTunes or what have you, you can buy one song for 99 cents, and it, that's it. You know, you might buy just that one song. So then what happens to the record sale for the artist, it drops. So what do you have out right now? What should we be looking for from you? Well, right now, you know, definitely coming this year, you know, 08, you know, you will get an album from Conflict. Um, right now, definitely I have three, you know, songs that are actually on MySpace that it will be on the album if you want to check it out. You know, it's Conflict. Um, well, Conflict World, MySpace.com, Conflict World. Um, you know, also I'm doing a couple of shows here and there trying to get a tour booked. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of conflict in the 08. Okay, you talked about 08. You talked about great things going on in 08, making a change. And, and there are some changes on the horizon. Uh, right. Partly, you know, you cannot turn on the television, listen to the radio, pick up a paper, go on the Internet without seeing the primaries, Democratic primary, presidential primary, the Republican primary. And, you know, there will be some changes. 12009, Bush's last day in <laughs> office. She said it. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, he's. Well, we can't. He's done his time. It's time to go. I'm not afraid to say that. So I'm looking forward to some of the different changes that we can have on the political scene, especially as far as president. And you have a woman running, yeah. you know, running with a real great chance of becoming the next president. Um, and you have a, a black man running, which is something that some people couldn't even conceive of 10, 15 years ago. So what do you think about, one, politics in general, and two, hip hop's role in politics? How much of a role should hip hop play or hip hop members or people of the hip hop culture play in politics? Well, in politics in general, I think, you know, right now is, is very interesting. Um, you know, we have the opportunity to have a first either way it goes, you know, whether an African American becomes the president or a woman. So, you know, you, it's, it can go either way and it's a first. So I think that actually helps in the voting aspect because you know because of that hype you got more people that may be interested well do you think well you know at one point um last time the last cycle in 04 you had diddy out there with um i guess he had rock the vote rap the vote vote or die diddy was vote or die and and he really tried to play an active role in getting people out to the polls. Do you think that that's something that more people should do? Or do you think hip-hop should stay on the sidelines? I mean, should someone come out and say, we as a culture endorse X, Y, Z? No, I definitely think that hip-hop should be very active in politics. I mean, you know, as you can see, we're already involved in a lot of things. The sports, hip-hop. You know, clothing is hip-hop. Everything is hip-hop. Even different genres of music relates back to hip-hop with the collaborations and everything. So I think... You know, if, if you got your favorite MC or favorite singer, what have you, that might motivate you to go out and vote as well. You know, I would hope that that's not the only reason, but at least it can help bring people in to see that voting is important. Okay. All right, so who's your pick? You willing to say on camera? Who are you voting I'm gonna for? I'm going to be honest. You know, I'm going to make my decision based on, you know, what each candidate will bring. You know, I'm not partial. I'm not against the whole woman thing. Um, I have to honestly say right now, I think, you know, Obama is, is definitely making, you know, more strides, you know, what I've seen. But we'll see. You know, I'm not going to jump out there and say it, but, you know, we'll see. You heard it here first on the Great Hip Hop Debate on DiverseWorldOrder.com. That's it for Christina, a.k.a. Tina Showbiz, interview with Conflict. Any last shout outs, anything you want to say? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Conflict. You know, we'll be coming soon, but, you know, it's not just me. Roundtable Entertainment is a collective. You know, we got Jason. Um, definitely check him out at Jason804.com. He's also on iTunes, Born to Motivate, Raise to Succeed is the name of the album. So definitely check that out. And also, you know, we have Angel, which is our female artist, which some of the ladies, you know, might want to connect with her. She's also available on iTunes. The album is titled Something to Lose. Um, so that's actually one of the first solo albums we've had. So... You know, it's catching a lot of waves, but definitely check out Jason the Angel. You know, it's not just one person. You know, that's we're a whole round table artist slash partner. So, you know, we, we're here to represent Richmond best we can. That's right. 804 signing out. <laughs> you want to find out more about this phenomenon we call the Great Hip Hop Debate? Well, check us out on the web at diverseworldorder.com. <laughs>